Tired of bad odds, poor markets and problems with drawing your winnings? We've got great news! A new esports bookmaker, Cyber.Bad. Register right now, make a deposit and receive $10. Follow the link in the description and hurry up to pick your $10. Cyber.Bad is your new esports bookmaker. Did I hear a squeak? Hello guys, my name is Mac and welcome to how to boost your MMR from 1k up to 5k with Lycan. Now, since everyone asked me to make a Lycan guide, well, here you go. Now, why Lycan considered one of the best heroes to boost your MMR in any bracket? Well, the answer is pretty simple. The hero is amazing and it's all what you need in this hero. You are a strong hero in the laning stage, you have a high damage and high HP since you are a strength hero. When it comes to pushing lanes, there is no hero faster than Lycan except Lone Druid and Broodmother maybe. So this hero is all what you need to boost your MMR. Now let's talk through items and laning stage and also strategies. In terms of the laning stage, you prefer to play him in the mid lane only or maybe safe lane because you need XP in the mid lane. When it comes to what level you need to start with, you start with your E because it gives you a bonus damage so that's all what you need to get an easy last hit. And in some cases like playing against Viper, you want to start with your Q for one reason, to summon wolves and push the lane so you can get as much C as possible out of the lane because there's some heroes that cannot lane against and Viper is one of them. Now for items, it's very straightforward. In the early game, you start with the Tango, Iron Branch, South Shield and Quillen Blade. And remember, do not consume the Iron Branch for region because you need it to finish your next item. After that, I just get Helm of Dominator first item and try to get Headrest as soon as possible because you won't need any region with this item. Also, by skipping Brand Boot, you will be able to get your Helm of Dominator between minute 5 and minute 7 in the worst scenario. After that, get level 1 Necro, then just buy Brand Boot because you want to move freely around the lanes and also around the jungle because you want to farm. Then from here, you need to think if you are playing against a Sven, for example, I will only get level 2 Necro, then I will buy Heaven's Helper because I need to disarm this hero. I know heroes such as Sven will always go for BKB as the third item or second item. So Heaven's Helbert will always help me because I don't want a Sven to just cleave through my creeps. Now for normal mid game and late game, I will show you the builds that I use. AC for aura armor and attack speed to be tanky and push lanes faster and also to get the towers. Heaven's Helbert to disarm a heavy right clicker like PA, Juggernaut, Sven. BKB is always needed especially if you are playing against so many stuns like Lion or whatever. You can always put your Helm of Dominator in the stash since you can use your Helm of Dominator and the creep will be always with you so you can be 6 slotted. Necrobook level 3 is always must get item after the Helm of Dominator. And other items can be situational like these items. Now I'm sure one of the baboons will say, what if I lose my lane? Well, if you lost your lane, make sure to leave it as soon as you get level 4. So you can farm jungle because Lycan only strong when you get level 6 and also Helm of Dominator. So being AFK, leeching XP from the lane and some CS will definitely not make you win the game or even the lane. And as soon as you get your Helm of Dominator, you need to look for 3 creeps only in the early game. The first one which is Boo Boo, because he's tanky, he can provide stun and he's independent boy. Good boy. Goku because you can use Hadouken. And finally Troll, so you can net summon and summon skeleton to push the lane faster. And for the late game I would recommend you always for Troll or Alpha Wolf for some damage. Now for skills and talent tree, you always want to max your wolf and also your E for more aura damage. And if you want in the early game, you can get one level of your W so you can have more attack speed, armor and some health regen. For talent tree, in level 10 I always choose 20 damage if the enemy doesn't have that much right clickers. But if they have PA for example or something like that, I will go for armor. 
and level 15 you always go for cooldown reduction because that matters a lot for summon necrobook and also for your ultimate in level 20 always go for the shapeshift duration to extend the time of you being a wolf and that can really help you for a long team fight because you are kind of useless without your ultimate in level 25 usually i go for the crit damage because i need it in the team fights to have damage otherwise if you need only to rat you can choose you know plus three wolves but remember if the enemy can clear waves so fast like they have tinker or something the wolves will be so useless now for hotkeys you don't need that much i use x to control my helm of dominator creep so i can stun the enemy or even block them z to control only the range creep from the necrobook to slow and purge the enemy also this is in the settings so you can control all the units by holding control Now to kill an enemy, you press your ultimate and hold control and attack the enemy. Now since he will auto attack the enemy with the wolves and also the lichen, I will control my helm of dominator creep by pressing X twice or whatever hotkey you have. So after that when I press it twice I will control my helm of dominator creep and stun the enemy or even block them. And finally, just make sure that you control your main hero since all the units will be auto attacking the enemy because you don't want to get blocked by the creeps. That's why you need to control it. And the same thing for using the necro. You can set a hot key for that, which is C for me, and control the ranged necro to slow the enemy and purge them. You can also check my hotkey guide and control group guide for more information. Now for strategies, it's so simple. Once you get your Helm of Dominator and also level 6, you can dive any hero under the tower and also try to get the mid lane tower. If you can't get it in the early game, that will be kinda a disadvantage for you, but it's fine. You can get it anytime you want. So after you don't have your ultimate, you can just farm the jungle because you wanna get your Necro book as soon as possible. So just farm my jungle and also I will pick the lane that I wanna go for. And what I mean by that, I will look at the lanes and choose the lane where I can push it after I get kills on the enemy. So you need to consider a few things, like the enemy position even though I can dive them under the tower, their items and also the heroes that they are playing, and lastly if they can clear waves so easily or not. Like playing against Timbersaw or Underlord where they can constantly clear waves will be so annoying for me. But remember that you are so strong in the early game, so you need to manage your time wisely. From here I will start to show some dominance by farming the enemy jungle and just make sure that the mid creep wave or the lane where I pushed is constantly getting pushed for so many reasons. First, if the enemy are not defended that means they are smoked. Second, if they defend as two heroes I can easily kill them and even dive them under tower or even they can you know someone else can TP because if they can't be there as the three heroes no one can stop you. And finally creating some space for your team and that's why after getting towers I farm the enemy jungle to limit even the resources and their farm also to have more map control now if you check my main account you will usually find me ending games between minute 15 and 25 because I always care about objectives more than anything else so remember with liking you can play early game and also late game but extending the game for late game for no goddamn reason that means the enemy will be stronger as well and it will be hard for you to carry your team that's why I always pick heroes that can 1 versus 9 in the early game and solo win the game even if you are playing with monkeys so what I'm gonna do next is share more games of me playing in the high tier or low tier with Lycan and Tinka and other heroes so you can see what I'm doing or you can see what you are doing wrong and also correct it. Now that's everything for the day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please subscribe, like the video and also share it with your friends to show some support and love. And tell me in the comments what video you are looking for to see me doing in the future. This is Mark. See you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,